Right now at 10, Prairie du Chien's younger generation pitches in to help their neighbors clean up after Mississippi River flooding leaves debris around homes. And a shared revenue plan passes Wisconsin Assembly on Republican votes. Democrats say the measure isn't quite ready to be fully adopted. Plus, local art is brightening up La Crosse's airport as a collaboration brings art on the fly to LSE. You're watching WKBT La Crosse. This is News 8 Now at 10. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at 10. I'm Ken Kozarowski. Cleanup is underway in Prairie du Chien after major flooding damaged several homes. News 8 Now's Dua Isra was at the cleanup where turnout was actually so high that some volunteers actually had to be turned away. April's flood left things like bicycles, branches, and other debris in people's backyards. Now, high school students are helping restore their community. Oh, this is a heavy one. If you ask this group of teenagers, they'll tell you this is a fun end to a record-setting flood. That is really wet. In April, Prairie du Chien High School students sandbagged houses around their community. When we came out two weeks ago, we set out all the sandbags to help control the flooding. The sandbags helped, but many homes still saw damage. It was really awful. Carla Traster has lived in Prairie du Chien for 56 years. They cleaned up a horrible mess in our backyards back here. Traster says the best part of her community are the kids on her lawn. These kids are great. They're friendly and they're polite and nice. I can't say enough thank yous to these high school kids. The mud is no match for students with determination. Grody. A goal to clean up their home. It's really rewarding and fun. We're able to do, obviously help out our community and make it look more presentable. Traster says this town is here for one another. We did good work today. Dang right we did. Even when the next flood hits. I live in a wonderful community wonderful young people. I'm just so thankful for everybody. Traster just doesn't plan on sticking around for it. Well, hopefully it will be 20 years from now and I won't be here. <laughs> Reporting in Prairie du Chien, Dua Srar, News 8 Now. Dua, thanks very much. And if you are in PDC and have damage to your property, report it to 211. Crawford County Emergency Management says they are collecting that information for possible aid from the state. But it is nice to see, and it, I guess it makes sense that a lot of people in that area are kind of used to kind of doing this on a cyclical um, rotation every year, but to have at least some kind of lightheartedness now that most of the flooding has taken taken shape and yeah. receded now. And it, it makes a mess of things. It I sure mean, does. If you were down near the river uh, during the flood or after you saw the debris and the mud that uh, that Mississippi uh, moves around because it is a strong river. There's a reason it's called the uh, the big powerful muddy out there. Uh, that's for sure. <clears throat> Temperatures in the 60s today. Again, another day with hazy sunshine from the wildfire smoke. Again, the smoke is from wildfires over western Canada. There's a lot of them uh, in that uh, vicinity. And every now and then the upper level winds kind of steer those uh, that smoke into our area. Now, we're used to that during the summer months. It's a little early for that, but uh, kind of an early start to the fire season over western Canada since they've been rather dry as of late. Now we had a few clouds scoot through uh, late today and into this evening as well. Now drawing your attention to the line of showers and thunderstorms over the Dakotas, far northwestern Minnesota, that's ahead of a cold front that's heading our way for tomorrow and that will bring uh, that chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms into play around here. Current temperatures low to mid 40s in our traditional cooler spots of the north and east. The rest of us still in the 50s and it will be partly cloudy, still hazy with that smoke aloft overnight. Uh, lows around 50 degrees, which is fairly seasonable this time of year for the La Crosse area. School cast for tomorrow, uh, partly sunny to start 52, 68, small chance for a thunderstorm by lunchtime, a uh, better chance for scattered storms tomorrow afternoon. It will be warmer, highs around 76, but still that smoky haze will likely be in play as well. We'll talk more about those storm chances with my eight day forecast in just a few minutes. All right. Thanks a lot, Bill. Well, an investigation into a sheriff canine's death is underway in Monroe County. According to the Monroe County Sheriff's Office, K-9 Colt was taken to a veterinary clinic last Wednesday after suffering a, quote, heat-related injury. The dog was then transferred to a clinic in Madison, but died Monday afternoon. Now, the Vernon County Sheriff's Office will be working with the Juneau County District Attorney's Office to do a full investigation. A Monroe County deputy is currently on administrative leave. K-9 Colt started serving the Monroe County Sheriff's Office in 2018. He was six years old. 
No one is hurt after a laundromat fire in Viroqua today. The Viroqua fire chief says they received a call around 540 tonight about a dryer that caught fire at Laundryland Laundromat on Viroqua's Main Street. Viroqua, Westby and Viola Fire all responded to the scene and used fire extinguishers to beat the flames quickly. The chief says the building is intact, but the business is going to be closed tomorrow for cleaning and electrical work. Lawmakers debated for hours at the state capitol tonight discussing funding for cities and counties. The Wisconsin State Assembly approved a Republican proposal that was released just hours before. It's a compromise bill reached between Speaker Robin Voss and Governor Tony Evers that promises to give even more funding to, municip to cities. Now, the city of La Crosse would get a 15% raise, an extra $1.4 million. All Democrats voted against the measure tonight. The bill that we are debating today is also just not ready for prime time. It's not the solution to our challenges that people in Wisconsin deserve. We are done negotiating. Uh, we are not going to take changes. We are not going to change the bill substantially. What we have before us is the deal that we are going to send to our colleagues in the state Senate. Republican Senate leader Devin Lemahue said no comment today when asked whether he supports the proposal. In the meantime, Wisconsin Republicans are floating a bill that would kickstart grants to help communities fight PFAS contamination. The bill does not include any details about funding those grants, but does say communities would have to contribute 20% of the cost to test for these so-called forever chemicals that are linked to serious cancers and illnesses. The bill would also limit the DNR and its ability to require testing on abandoned or industrial sites as well as private property. The state budget writing committee is likely to discuss the bill's funding this Thursday. The La Crosse Police Department awarded nine officers tonight at its annual recognition ceremony. This week is National Police Week. Among the titles given are the Superior Achievement Award, Life Preservation Award, a Traffic Safety Award, and an Employee Award of Excellence. One of the department's captains was recognized for being an FBI National Academy graduate. Officer Colt Lang, who received the Departmental Citation Award and a Chief's, a Chief's Achievement Award tonight, says doing well on the job comes down to the preparation. It all comes down to just having good training, having good sergeants and supervisors that allow you to be trained well. Um, you always got to watch your back and be there for your partners when situations kind of get sticky. This is the second year Officer Lang was recognized. He received a traffic safety award last year. Going to the airport might not be some people's idea of fun, but a new initiative at the La Crosse Airport is making the experience a bit more beautiful. Art on the Fly is bringing local artist work to the walls of LSE. The first artist to display work on terminal walls is Bob Witt. He says it was exciting to hear that he would be one of the first to display for Art on the Fly, and airport officials are happy to invite artists in. I was very honored. Uh, there were so many folks they could have asked, and they asked me, so I was, I was pleased. <laughs> We wanted to give the passengers and the general public just a, a little extra, a little more to look at as they go through, uh, go through the terminal here. Now, Witt's work includes landscapes and portraits in both watercolor and charcoal pieces. Airport leaders encourage everyone to stop by the airport and check out those pieces on display. Still ahead in medical news, a fertility phone app is fined for sharing users' information. Plus, Mayo Clinic Health System is welcoming a new robotic tool that will help doctors spot lung cancer. And later, students, parents, and teachers are saying goodbye to Lincoln Middle School. A celebration brings everyone together to reminisce on the decades of memories. It's the Bobby Bones Show. Let's go. We're going to make you laugh. And the biggest stars in country music, they all come by here. Really? Yeah. Shut up. Join me, Bobby Bones, every weekday morning starting at 6 on Kix 106.3. Every piece of land has a story, written by those who work it. Like the Caggianos, who are brewing their own legacy. Or the Upshaws, who DIY all the time. While the Nelsons play lead in their own adventure, 150 years in the making. There's a story in every piece of land. Run with us and start telling yours. Talk to the John Deere experts at Tractor Central to find out which equipment is just right for your property. Start now at TractorCentral.com. Are you tired of living with a wet, musty basement? Let the professionals at All-Star Basements find the right waterproofing solutions for your needs. We do it all, from leaks, seepage, and flooding issues to foundation repair and radon mitigation and mud jacking. 
We service all of southern Minnesota, northern Iowa, and western Wisconsin. Our services come with a lifetime transferable warranty and our low price guarantee. So stop living with a damp, smelly basement. Call us today for a free estimate or find us online at allstarbasements.com. Hi, it's Elvis Duran. Thanks for listening. We are just the family sitting around the table. Best answer ever! We're always fun. Oh. No. <laughs> Hi, it's Elvis Duran from the Mix Morning Show. Wake up with us every morning on Mix 96. The company behind a popular fertility app must pay for leaking their health data. The app named Premom will pay $200,000 in federal and state fines after authorities allege it had shared users' personal health info for years without consent. That includes sharing data with Google and two companies based in China. Premom will also be banned from sharing personal health information for advertising purposes and must ensure that the data it shared without users' consent is deleted from third-party systems. A new procedure at Mayo in La Crosse will make it easier for doctors to diagnose and treat lung cancer. News 8 Now's Emily Haugen spoke with doctors using the new tech and shows us how it works. In healthcare, timing is everything. At Mayo Clinic Health System in La Crosse, Dr. Mark Norton is seeing more time cut short. We've got an aging population that kind of grew up in, uh, you know, a smoking, heavy environment. They're at high risk for developing yeah. lung cancers. For some, those screenings could come too late. For others... If we're able to do that in diagnosis in its early stage, then we actually have an opportunity uh, to cure it. In traditional cases, getting a lung cancer diagnosis is time consuming. Well, usually what that would be would be just following it and seeing how it behaved over time. That's where Mayo's new tech, a robotic assisted bronchoscopy, comes in. It's a pretty low risk procedure. It streamlines the process using CT scan data to map out a person's airway. That map is then plugged like into the robot where doctors navigate to the nodules. This mapping system gives providers a clear pathway to diagnosis. We're using multiple vantage points and perspectives to increase our, our precision um, and our ability to really get to that nodule safely. Yes, Dr. June Che yes, is the bronchoscopy yeah. director. We got excited about uh, the potentials it could have for our community. She says this gives healthcare workers in the room answers to their questions quickly. That real-time conversation is invaluable. The process helps diagnoses happen faster and gives valuable time back to patients. In La Crosse, Emily Haugen, News 8 Now. Thanks, Emily. Mayo in La Crosse has completed two bronchoscopies since May 11th. Doctors say both procedures were successful, and they're looking forward to seeing the difference it makes in patients' lives. Still ahead, La Crosse residents share memories of their time at Lincoln Middle School as it wraps hosting a century of education. And later, you can customize your soda at restaurants these days, and one major company is asking, why not customize your dipping sauces? And I'm Chief Meteorologist Bill Grawl. The combination of last night's cold front and that smoky haze today, yeah, it was cooler. Highs only in the 60s. Now rain is back in the forecast for tomorrow. I'll detail it with my eight-day forecast after the break. All right, you have to go. <laughs> oh, I just, I'm, you know, the U.S. Open tennis tournaments go on, on these days. And uh, I was just, there's a, there's a picture of a, you know, female tennis player in the paper. So yes. I was like, what is up with the, the grunting and the tennis? No, that's not exactly but, what you... Well, and I did a couple sound effects, you know, the... You know, you know what I'm talking about, that... <laughs> I, I can only watch five minutes of that before I just, I have to turn it off. I, I enjoy watching tennis, but my goodness, it, it's a really healthy place. When Derek Van Orden wanted your vote, he signed the U.S. Term Limits Pledge. But now, Congressman Van Orden is breaking his U.S. Term Limits Pledge. Term Limits Action is responsible for the content of this advertising. Selling your car yourself can take weeks. Selling to an online reseller takes days. Selling your car to Doll Auto takes 30 minutes. Bring your title and keys and leave with a check. Doll Auto. Simple. As a veteran of our country's armed services, you have already made the ultimate sacrifice. Why should you have to continue to do that? Through no fault of your own, 
You may be experiencing hardships, such as the inability to pay rent, utilities, or receive other life-sustaining services. And once again, you're called upon by your family to serve and protect. We want you to know we are here to support you. The Veterans Rental Assistance Program was created by and for people living in Wisconsin, with benefit approvals being issued to veterans in just days, not months. It's not easy to ask for a hand up, but we are clear in our mission. No Wisconsin veteran should ever have to face homelessness or lose heat, power, or water again. 833 W I S V R A P. That's 833 947 8727. If you've been waiting for the best time to buy furniture, this is it. The King Furniture Memorial Day weekend sale, where everything in our showroom has been reduced. Find sofas, sectionals, bedrooms, recliners, dining, and more. Plus 12 months interest free financing. These deals only last through Memorial Day weekend, as we will be closed on Memorial Day to remember and honor our nation's heroes. Don't miss the King Furniture Memorial Day weekend sale. Going on now. Experienced sales consultants are good listeners who sell people what they need, not what's on sale. They're easy to work with and value a trusting relationship. We know team members with these life skills earn lifelong customers. Doll Auto, simple. Diapers and politicians must be changed often and for the same reason. And already something stinks about Derek Van Orden. Now politician Van Orden is breaking his U.S. term limits pledge. Term limits action is responsible for the content of this advertising. Come explore and plan your next home improvement project at the Board Store Home Improvement's historic eight-building showroom, 524 Copeland Avenue, La Crosse. The news continues on News 8 Now. Expect more. Families and staff members are celebrating the legacy of one of La Crosse's middle schools. News 8 Now's Jeremy Wall joins us now in studio with the latest. Jeremy? For nearly 100 years, Lincoln Middle School has served La Crosse, but soon it will be closing its doors. Tonight, people came out to celebrate its 99 years. Karen Jansky and her friends yeah. remember attending here like it was yesterday. It's kind of sad that it's going because there are a lot of memories here with my class, my daughter going here. One of the fondest school. memories at Lincoln Middle School. We did walkouts and things like that. Um, we'd hang across the street at a place named Till's Place. That was the hangout. The school is closing due to low enrollment, forcing children, including Brittany Lowry's kids, to attend other lacrosse middle schools. I think they're uh, pretty sociable kids, and academically they're pretty great. So we're pretty excited for them to head over to Longfellow next year. On this warm Wednesday night, Jansky, Lowry, and others came out to make memories at Lincoln one last time before the doors are closed for good. Throughout the years, students, staff, and faculty have come and gone. But social studies teacher Scott Bagnevsky has stayed for nearly three decades. Compared to others, the closure will hit him differently. It's a, it's a sad moment uh, in some ways because for those of us who've been here a long time from many years ago, your workplace, like a lot of people, becomes your second home. The school year isn't over yet. Lincoln Middle School's final day is June 2nd. Ken? Almost 100 years, so many memories, so many people, so many everything. I mean, you know, just being there and talking to everyone, you, you really could tell that uh, it's definitely going to be something when it's time to say goodbye. That's right. All right, Jeremy Wall, thanks very much. And the district and city have been meeting to discuss redeveloping the property in that facility advisory committee uh, meeting monthly now. We'll definitely have a few ideas to share. No doubt. In the meantime, not a bad day to have an uh, outdoor celebration celebrating nearly a century of uh, Lincoln Middle School. <laughs> Comfortable would be a good word to put it, yeah. Like to do yard work, something like that, that yeah. uh, maybe you'd sweat a little bit when it's warmer and sunny. Uh, but today, uh, that hazy smoke, again, kind of blocking out the sun in a big way for much of the day. Some passing clouds late in the afternoon as well. First of all, we'll check the allergy report. Low symptoms tomorrow and Friday for mulberry. Medium for oak and tree pollen in general. Uh, might be a little bit lower in spots that see some decent rainfall from a cold front passage tomorrow afternoon. 
Now currently skies uh, partly cloudy. We still have that smoke aloft sitting at about 10,000 feet. Uh, 67 degrees was the high, so that's six degrees below average. 92 is the record high. Turn those numbers around for the record low set way back in 1925. 57 degrees out at the airport. Uh, the Mississippi is dropping 9.73 feet. 56 degrees for you folks in Eau Claire and the Chippewa River is holding steady. So it was a cool day thanks to a cold front that kind of backed its way across the region last night. So uh, highs today in the 50s and 60s and current temperatures primarily in the 40s and 50s. Our traditional cooler spots are in the low to mid 40s. The rest of us primarily in the 50s. Winds generally from the southeast. Not overly strong though. 5 to 10, uh, maybe 15 miles per hour over towards Rochester. So there's some of those clouds spilling across the area. Now again, a cold front across the Dakotas spawning some scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms. And that's what's heading our way for tomorrow afternoon and evening and then quite a bit cooler air on Friday. In fact, Friday's highs probably only in the upper 50s to lower 60s. Something else happening uh, behind this front, by the way, is that smoke aloft is being kind of mixed down to the surface. So visibilities are just a couple of miles across the Dakotas and a smoky smell. Now we may experience that around here as the cold front passes through uh, sometime tomorrow afternoon or evening. Just something to keep in mind. Otherwise, dry tonight with partly cloudy conditions. Dry tomorrow morning. But then the cold front starts to spawn some scattered showers and isolated storms in the afternoon and into tomorrow evening. Might be an isolated uh, stronger storm or two uh, as this front continues to pass through and then those rain chances start to taper uh, towards midnight tomorrow night. And then Friday's looking mainly dry, maybe some spits and sprinkles, uh, but quite a bit cooler. Now the Storm Prediction Center does have a level one risk in the area. But again, I'm not overly impressed with this uh, severe weather threat. We'll keep an eye on things for you tomorrow afternoon and evening. If a stronger storm does develop, uh, maybe some gusty winds and hail. Uh, rain tracker showing generally a quarter inch or less, but if you find yourself in one of those thunderstorms, maybe a little bit more than that. Uh, temperatures today, highly dependent on how thick the haze is going to be. So uh, mid to upper 70s for most, maybe 80 degrees if we uh, see enough sunshine filter through, but uh, I think most spots will end up in the 70s for afternoon highs. So for tonight, partly cloudy and uh, hazy. Seasonable temperatures, lows in the 40s and 50s, right around 50 in the cross. Uh, still hazy tomorrow. Warmer mid 70s for highs with those scattered showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon and then looking ahead cooler Friday 61 but nice weekend low to mid 70s and staying pretty nice heading into next week 70s to start maybe some low 80s by midweek and with that will come at least a slight chance for some showers and thunderstorms man already looking forward to that weekend. All right. Thanks Bill. Okay coming up next in sports twins looking to take the series over the Dodgers in LA and the Brewers looking to do the same tonight in St. Louis against those darn Cardinals Rob is in next. News 8 Now Sports is brought to you by Mayo Clinic Health System. At Mayo Clinic Health System, get personalized specialty care with access to experts from orthopedics to neurosurgery and cardiology to cancer care, all close to home. hy -Vee's daily deals for Thursday are hy -Vee pasta, just 88 cents. That's right, just 88 cents. And pints of basket of bushel blueberries, two for just $5. Thursday only and only at hy -Vee. Action. Get up to 50% off list prices at the huge memorial sale at Slumberland Furniture. Like this recliner, free when you purchase the reclining sofa. How about a Lazy Boy recliner as low as $375? Up to 50% off only at Slumberland Furniture. Do not miss this one. This is how legends are. 2024 Chevy Silverado HD with Duramax Diesel. And the Chevy Silverado with powerful Turbomax engine. No matter what route you take, there's a Chevy truck to get you there. Find new roads. Get 1.9% financing on all 2023 Silverado 1500 LT Turbo Max pickups or current Chevy owners get 5250 total cash allowance when you trade in an eligible vehicle. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Luther High School, we are a powerhouse in culture and fulfilling the needs of each and every student through our student services program. We recognize the future needs all students, whether it's a four-year college, trades, or the trade school. Our on-site STEM program will offer welding and advanced woods program and allow stackable credits at technical colleges throughout Wisconsin. Luther High School, Christ-centered, encouraging and preparing students for life. Schedule your visit today. Go to lutherhigh.org or find us on Facebook at We Love Luther. Here we go. And action!
Now at Slumberland, $4.99 gets you a lot, like a Sealy Posturepedic mattress, plus a seven-piece bedding bundle, free. Yep, get a fitted sheet, flat sheet, two pillows, two pillowcases, and a duvet, all for just $4.99. Hurry, only at Slumberland Furniture. Cut! Yes. hy -Vee's daily deals for Thursday are hy -Vee pasta, just 88 cents. That's right, just 88 cents. And pints of basket of bushel blueberries, two for just $5. Thursday only, and only at hy -Vee. News 8 Now Sports is brought to you by Mayo Health System. Here's News 8 Now's Rob Schiff. We're just past the quarter mark of the Major League Baseball season. Both the Brewers and Twins are in first place in their respective divisions. We'll get to Minnesota in a bit, but we'll start tonight with the crew. It wasn't a pretty start in St. Louis on Monday, but the Brewers bounced back nicely last night. Tonight they were looking for a series win over the cards. Corbin Burns in some trouble right away in the first. Runners on the corners. Nolan Arenado stings it to third. That's an infield single. Paul Goldschmidt scores to make it 1-0 Cardinals. Let's go to the fourth now. Same score until Tyrone Taylor's at the dish. Gives this one a ride to deep left center. And that ball is gone for a solo shot. Or is it? The play would be reviewed. Let's take another look. The ball is going to hit the top of the wall. So it's a double, but the Brewers can't capitalize. They don't score on the play. They'd pay for it in the sixth. One on for Paul DeYoung. He crushes this one to dead center, and this ball is gone. A two-run blast puts the cards up three. Brewers get shut out in the series finale, three to nothing. Rubber match in L.A. Minnesota down one in the fourth until Byron Buxton unloads. He hammers this pitch deep to left center field. That's going to tie the game. Buxton's solo shot makes it 1-1. Bottom of the inning, Mookie Betts puts the Dodgers back on top. He lines a base hit in a center. One run comes in. It's 2-1 Los Angeles until the sixth. That's when Joey Gallo shows off the strength. He's been providing some power for the Twins. Does it again in this one. That ties the game at two. We're tied at three in the seventh, but with the bases loaded, James Outman blows this one wide open. Straightaway center, and that's a grand slam. Dodgers go ahead by four. Twins fall in the series finale, seven to three. Minnesota will be in Anaheim for three against the Angels starting Friday night. Some NFL news out of Minnesota. The Vikings reportedly making it official with their first round pick. Wide receiver Jordan Addison agreeing to a four year deal with Minnesota worth just under 14 million bucks with a team option for a fifth season. The UWL softball team begins its journey toward a national championship tomorrow. Eagles are traveling to Pella, Iowa for their NCAA Division III regional. They'll take on Bethel University tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eagles earned an automatic bid after winning the WIAC last week. It's the Eagles' seventh appearance in the NCAA tournament, their first since 2019. UWO won the Pella Iowa Regional that same season. The high school baseball season is winding down, just one week left in the regular season. Westby was a scoring machine tonight. Norseman exploding for 16 runs and a win on the road over Cochran Fountain City. They take it 16 to 2, the final there. As for softball, the playoffs. Begin tomorrow with the first round of the regionals. The Logan softball team will be at home as the Rangers play host to Mauston. And in Division Three, the GET softball team gets a home game as the Red Hawks welcome in Aquinas tomorrow for their first round regional matchup. And finally, we're getting closer and closer to the state track meet at UWL in early June, but the Spartans will be hosting the last chance invite tomorrow at Sparta High. Nine high schools will be participating. Cashin will be there. So will West Salem, Bangor, Black River Falls, Brookwood, Onalaska, Toma, Westby. Field events start at 4. Running events begin at 4.30. Hopefully the rain will hold off. And uh, Ken keeps scaring me about the state trade. He's been preparing me <laughs> for what I should expect. For the, as long as I can eat, yeah. bring my food there. Yeah, I'll be there all day. Definitely meal prep beforehand because some I'll of those be businesses where you try and order ahead, right. you're not going to get that sub no. for several hours until after you need Tupperware it. all day. All right. I'll be out there, though. He's the Tupperware guy over here. <laughs> Thanks, Rob. <laughs> we got more news right after this. Ashley's Memorial Day sale is going on now. Get up to 50% off spotlight deals, plus pay 0% interest for 72 months with no minimum or down payment. And ask how to receive a $100 Visa prepaid card only at Ashley. Hey, what's up with no seatbelt? We're not going far. Just heading to town. Really? Don't worry, folks. I got this. What the? Come on, man. You're more likely to get in a crash on a shorter trip. So buckle up every trip, every time. Got it? Got it. Click it or ticket. Together, we can save lives. 
This time of year has many different names. We call it Showtime. It's when there's work to be done and fun to be had. Plus, it's time for Auto Show, where you can experience new Ford SUVs firsthand. Then head to your Northland Ford dealers for exclusive offers like 0% financing for 36 months, plus 1,000 in open trade assist on select Ford SUVs. It's showtime. Hurry in today. Now for a limited time only, get 0% financing for 36 months, plus 1,000 in open trade assist on select Ford SUVs. Only at your Northland Ford dealers. To everyone who appreciates a handcrafted meal, are you ready for a taste of Wisconsin? Butterburgers cooked fresh, just the way you like. The way you love. Definitely love. And our thick and creamy frozen custard, we make it for you all throughout the day. All day. All day, every day. Put it in the extra work and not cutting corners. It takes a little longer. But it's how we've always done it at Culver's. Because making your meal with care shows how much we care. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome to Delicious. Get your garden growing strong with 11% off at Menards. Grow a beautiful garden with burpee seeds. Choose from over 450 varieties of flowers, vegetables, and herbs. All burpee seed packets are on sale. Plus, get 11% off. Get a clean edge around gardens and flower beds with Mastermark Pro Lawn Edging. It helps block the spreading of grass and weeds. Pick up a 40-foot roll of Master Gardener Lawn Edging for $14.99 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. Ashley's Memorial Day mattress sale is going on now. Save $1,000 on select Sealy mattresses and get $100 instant savings on Ashley Sleep Adjustable Base Sets. Plus pay 0% interest for 72 months with no minimum or down payment. Only at Ashley. Parents will soon be able to put their teens in an Uber unsupervised. The ride service is rolling out a new feature. Here's how it works. Once the parent hails a ride, teens will have to give the driver a unique PIN number for them to be able to ride without a chaperone. The app will also record audio during the ride, and parents can contact the driver or company support at any time. Now, Uber says only highly rated and experienced drivers will be allowed to provide rides to the unaccompanied teens. Kraft Heinz plans to bring the sauce to you in a whole new way. This is the company's prototype dipping sauce dispenser called the Heinz Remix. It has sauce bases of ketchup, ranch, and barbecue. You pick one and then can mix it with enhancers like buffalo and smoky chipotle at different intensities. The company plans to start running pilot programs in restaurants later this year with that puppy. And Oscar Mayer's Wienermobile is getting a name change. Now it's say hello to the Frank Mobile. Mm, the company says it's paying homage to the new recipe for its hot dogs that are coming this summer. Visually, it's going to look almost the exact same, only difference being the name decal on the side. But the name might not stick. A spokesperson says the company's just trying it out. We'll see. We'll be right back after this. Taco John's new double beef and potato quesadilla is so filling, it'll have you speaking double. Double seasoned beef beef, crispy potato alaise-alaise. Five melty cheese cheeses, double double beef olay. New ultra filling double beef and potato quesadilla for a limited time at Taco Taco John John's. Welcome to Esco. Welcome to huge selection and savings. What's this spring like? Free flowers. All month long, save up to 20% off store-wide. Plus, as a thank you, get $50 worth of free flowers from Sparta Floral when you spend $499 or more. Buy a sofa, get free flowers. Buy a fridge, get free flowers. Buy some flooring, get free flowers. While you're picking up your free flowers, buy some more flowers. Let's go in Sparta, where white glove delivery and setup is always free. Tell them Peyton sent you. The GMC Sierra with hands-free driving. Yeah, it rocks. Step up to GMC with 0.9% APR and no monthly payments for 90 days on Sierra Light Duty models. Visit your best choice GMC dealer today. What lies inside all of us is more than data. It's life. What's flowing through America's veins is its diversity. We ask for one million individuals to come forward and stand on this landmark in history. All of us are different, and it's those very differences that will lead to answers for generations to come. News 8 Now and Dairyland Power Cooperative present Our Community Cares. 
Moon Tunes returns to Riverside Park in La Crosse starting June 1st. The free concert series is brought to you by the Valley View Rotary. Concerts are held Thursday nights from 5.30 to 8 throughout the summer. June Dairy Days takes place at the Village Park in West Salem June 2nd through the 4th. Food, fun, fireworks, family entertainment, music and parade, and much more to entertain the whole family. For more information on these events, or if you'd like to submit an event, visit news8000.com. With most value menus, more cheese means spending more cheddar. But Taco John's valueous menu isn't most value menus. Now get our Nacho Crunch Burrito with chicken for just $3. Or get it with beef for just 2 Only on the valueous menu at Taco John's. Partly cloudy tonight, lows around 50 degrees. If you need to mow, uh, yellow light tomorrow. Watch for some afternoon scattered showers and thunderstorms. A uh, nice cool day for Friday and pleasant Saturday, high of 72. All right, thanks, Bill. And thanks for joining us tonight at 10. We'll see you tomorrow.